Howdy, folks. Let's take a trip back in time, way back to a time long before humans, before birds, even before flowers. Picture this, a world dominated by giants, creatures so colossal they make elephants look like puppies. This wasn't a scene from a science fiction movie. This was the Mesozoic era, the age of the dinosaurs. Imagine one massive supercontinent called Pangaea, surrounded by a single vast ocean. The air was thick with humidity and volcanoes painted the horizon with fiery hues. This was the stage upon which the dinosaurs made their grand entrance. The Mesozoic era is divided into three periods, the Triassic, the Jurassic, and the Cretaceous. Our adventure begins in the Triassic, a time of recovery after a massive extinction event that wiped out nearly all life on Earth. These early dinosaurs were relatively small, nimble creatures, dwarfed by the giant reptiles that still ruled the Earth. But as the Triassic gave way to the Jurassic, the dinosaurs began to evolve and diversify at an astonishing rate. Well, now, as the Jurassic period took hold, the Earth was practically bursting at the seams with dinosaurs. From the towering giants to the chicken-sized scurriers, each dinosaur had its own part to play in this grand prehistoric ballet. Imagine herds of massive sauropods with their long necks reaching for the sky, munching on leaves high up in the trees. Dinosaurs came in all shapes and sizes, each uniquely adapted to their environment. Some were built for speed, like the sleek and agile raptors with their deadly claws and lightning-fast reflexes. And then there were the dinosaurs of the skies and seas, creatures so bizarre and wonderful that they seem like something straight out of a fantasy novel. Now, when folks think of dinosaurs, their minds often jump straight to the meat-eaters, and with good reason. These weren't your average predators. These were the theropods, a group that included some of the most fearsome creatures to ever walk the Earth. Take the Tyrannosaurus rex, for example. This iconic predator needs no introduction. With its massive jaws, bone-crushing teeth and powerful legs, T. rex was the apex predator of its time. They were the cunning velociraptors, smaller but no less deadly, hunting in packs and using their intelligence and agility to outmaneuver their prey. And let's not forget about the Spinosaurus, a massive predator with a gigantic sail on its back, thought to have been an adept swimmer and possibly even a fish eater. But it wasn't all tooth and claw in the dinosaur world. In fact, the vast majority of dinosaurs were actually herbivores, gentle giants content to munch on leaves and ferns. There were also the armored dinosaurs like the Stegosaurus, with its iconic plates running down its back and spiky tail, likely used for defense against predators. These herbivores, with their diverse adaptations and feeding strategies, played a crucial role in shaping the prehistoric landscape. Now imagine yourself back in that prehistoric world for a moment. The air is alive with the sounds of chirps, bellows, and the rustling of ancient ferns. Dinosaurs weren't just solitary creatures roaming about aimlessly. They had relationships, rivalries, and routines, just like any other animal. Some might have grazed peacefully in herds, while others stalked their prey through dense jungles, their senses on high alert. Every day was a test, a challenge to find food, avoid becoming someone else's dinner, and perhaps, if you were lucky, raise a family of your own. Now, when it comes to survival, few things are as exciting as the relationship between predator and prey. It's a delicate dance, a game of cat and mouse played out over millions of years, with each species evolving to outwit the other. Take the theropods, for instance. These carnivores, with their sharp teeth and powerful legs, were the undisputed kings of the hunt. But the herbivores weren't defenseless by any means. Some, like the stegosaurus, developed bony plates and spikes, while others, like the triceratops, had formidable horns and frills. Some smaller dinosaurs might have relied on blending into their surroundings to avoid detection, while others used their swiftness to outrun danger. It was a constant arms race, with both predators and prey evolving in response to each other's adaptations. Now, every now and then, these predator-prey relationships would escalate into epic showdowns, battles that would leave their mark on the prehistoric landscape. Imagine a Tyrannosaurus rex, the apex predator of its time, facing off against a Triceratops, a three-horned behemoth with a bony frill protecting its neck. 
The ground trembles beneath their feet as they circle each other, sizing up their opponent. The T-Rex, with its powerful jaws and bone-crushing bite, would have aimed for a swift kill. But the Triceratops, with its sharp horns and sturdy build, was no pushover. It would have charged head-on, using its horns like lances to defend itself. The outcome would have depended on a variety of factors, including size, strength, experience, and a bit of luck. Now, while the life of a dinosaur might seem like a constant struggle for survival, it wasn't all about tooth and claw. Evidence suggests that some dinosaurs, particularly the herbivores, traveled in herds, providing safety in numbers and increasing their chances of finding food and water. These herds could have ranged in size from a few dozen individuals to thousands strong, with older, more experienced dinosaurs leading the way. Fossil discoveries of dinosaur nests, eggs, and even fossilized embryos paint a picture of dedicated parents nurturing their young. These glimpses into the social lives of dinosaurs remind us that even in a world dominated by giants, there was room for cooperation, family, and perhaps even a little bit of tenderness. Well, folks, we've journeyed through millions of years, witnessed the rise and reign of these incredible creatures. But as with all good things, the age of dinosaurs couldn't last forever. The curtain began to fall on their reign about 66 million years ago, marking the end of the Cretaceous period. For the dinosaurs, the end came not with a whimper, but with a bang, a catastrophic event that would forever alter the course of life on Earth. Scientists have pieced together a compelling narrative of this event, a tale written in stone and fossils. So hold on tight, folks, as we explore the final act of the dinosaurs, a chapter filled with both tragedy and the promise of new beginnings. Imagine, if you will, a day much like any other in the late Cretaceous. Dinosaurs roamed, unaware of the celestial traveller hurtling towards Earth. This wasn't just any rock, this was an asteroid, a six-mile-wide behemoth on a collision course with our planet. The impact when it came was cataclysmic. It struck with the force of billions of atomic bombs, instantly vaporizing rock and sending shockwaves rippling across the globe. Earthquakes, volcanic eruptions and tsunamis of unimaginable scale ravaged the planet. The skies, once blue, turned a sickly yellow choked with dust and debris that blotted out the sun. The impact itself was just the beginning of the dinosaurs' woes. The aftermath was a slow, agonizing death knell for countless species. Now, the aftermath of the asteroid impact was undoubtedly a time of great hardship. The Earth was a very different place, scarred and shrouded in a veil of dust and ash. But even in the face of such devastation, life, tenacious as ever, found a way to endure. While the dinosaurs, those magnificent creatures that had ruled for so long, couldn't weather the storm, others did. Deep in the oceans, some marine reptiles managed to survive, as did some species of birds the direct descendants of dinosaurs. The reign of the dinosaurs might have ended, but their extinction paved the way for the rise of mammals, ultimately leading to the world we know today. Now, with the dinosaurs gone, the stage was set for a new cast of characters to take center stage. The mammals, those small, resilient creatures that had lived in the shadow of giants for so long, were finally free to step into the limelight. The early mammals were a far cry from the diverse array of creatures we see today. They were mostly small, mouse-sized critters, scurrying through the undergrowth, searching for insects and seeds. But within these humble beginnings lay the seeds of a revolution, a slow but steady unfolding of diversity that would eventually lead to the mammals we know and love today. Their warm-blooded metabolism allowed them to stay active even in cooler temperatures, giving them an edge in a world still reeling from the asteroid's impact. So, while the dinosaurs might have ruled the land for millions of years, it was the mammals, those adaptable and tenacious creatures that were destined to inherit the Earth. From tiny beginnings, the unfolding of mammalian diversity. Now, over the millions of years that followed the dinosaurs' demise, the mammals underwent an extraordinary transformation. They diversified and evolved, spreading across the globe and filling every ecological niche imaginable. 
It was as if life itself was making up for lost time, exploring every possible evolutionary pathway with a newfound sense of freedom. From those humble mouse-like ancestors sprang forth an astonishing array of creatures. There were the grazers, like the early horses and rhinos, evolving longer legs and specialized teeth for a life on the open plains. The forests teemed with primates, their nimble limbs and grasping hands perfectly adapted for an arboreal existence. And where there were herbivores, there were predators, of course. Early carnivores, like the ancestors of dogs and cats, honed their senses and hunting skills, keeping the populations of their prey in check. The oceans, too, witnessed the rise of magnificent mammalian lineages. Whales, dolphins and seals, descendants of land-dwelling mammals, returned to the water their bodies streamlined for a life beneath the waves. It was a testament to the incredible adaptability of mammals, their ability to thrive in virtually every environment on Earth. And somewhere along the way, a remarkable lineage of primates, our own distant ancestors, began to evolve larger brains and more complex social structures. It was a journey that would eventually lead to us, humans, the inheritors of a legacy forged in the fires of extinction and shaped by the relentless forces of evolution. Section 3. A Legacy Etched in Stone Now, even though the dinosaurs have been gone for millions of years, their story continues to captivate our imaginations. We unearth their bones, piece together their skeletons, and marvel at their size and power. Their fossilized footprints tell tales of ancient migrations, their teeth reveal their diets, and their bones bear the scars of battles fought eons ago. Dinosaurs have become cultural icons, starring in movies, gracing our children's books, and sparking our curiosity about the ancient world. They teach us about evolution, extinction, and the incredible diversity of life that has existed on our planet. Their story, a testament to the power of nature and the fragility of life, reminds us that even the mightiest can fall. But it also offers a message of hope. Life as we know it is resilient, it adapts, it evolves, and it finds a way to endure, even in the face of unimaginable challenges. So the next time you see a dinosaur skeleton towering above you in a museum, remember that you're not just looking at bones. You're looking at a window into the past, a glimpse into a time when giants walked the earth and the very course of life was forever changed. Unearthing our past, shaping our future. Lessons from the dinosaurs. Well, folks, as we stand here looking back over millions of years, we can't help but feel a sense of awe at the story of the dinosaurs. These magnificent creatures, so different from anything alive today, ruled our planet for far longer than we humans have even existed. Their reign might have ended in a cataclysmic flash, but their legacy lives on, etched in stone and whispered in every fossil we unearth. You see, studying dinosaurs isn't just about digging up bones and marveling at their size. It's about understanding the history of life on Earth, the forces that have shaped our planet and the delicate balance of ecosystems that sustain us all. It's about piecing together the puzzle of our own existence, tracing our lineage back through time to those early mammals that inherited the Earth after the dinosaurs' demise. The dinosaurs teach us that change is inevitable, that even the most dominant species can be brought low by forces beyond their control. But they also teach us about resilience, about the remarkable ability of life to adapt, evolve, and find a way to thrive, even in the face of adversity. And that, my friends, is a lesson worth remembering. Because the challenges that face the dinosaurs, challenges like climate change and extinction events, are challenges that we face today. By understanding the past, by learning from the successes and failures of those that came before us, we can better navigate the future and ensure that our own species has a lasting legacy on this planet we call home. Section 2, A Universe of Wonder, The Journey Continues. Now, as we wrap up our journey through the age of dinosaurs, let's take a moment to appreciate the sheer wonder of it all. Millions of years ago, these incredible creatures walked the earth, their calls echoing through primeval forests, their footsteps shaking the ground. Their story, a tale of evolution, adaptation, and ultimately, extinction, is a reminder of the preciousness of life and the ever-changing nature of our planet. 
But it's also a story that's still being written. Every fossil discovered, every new species unearthed, adds another piece to the puzzle, deepening our understanding of these fascinating creatures and their world. The study of dinosaurs is a journey of discovery, a quest to unravel the mysteries of the past and shed light on the present. And it's a journey that belongs to all of us. Whether you're a seasoned paleontologist or a child gazing in awe at a dinosaur skeleton for the first time, the sense of wonder and curiosity that these creatures inspire is universal. So keep exploring, keep asking questions and keep looking to the past for answers about our present and our future. The dinosaurs might be gone, but their story, like the universe itself, is full of endless possibilities and a sense of awe that will never fade. Now, if you enjoyed this journey through the age of dinosaurs, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more adventures through time and space. And until next time, may God bless you and all your endeavors. Thank you for watching.